Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Outside the Box on The Wealth Around Us. Tonight I wanted to go over a very outside the box idea that was actually invented uh, before time immemorial. As long as uh, cultures have lived in these lands, they knew of this. The old Indian legend goes that the Great Spirit gave to the people the three sisters to ensure that they would always have nourishment. The three sisters, as the uh, native peoples said, or the old timers, as I like to say, they uh, worked in harmony to create substance and nourish the earth as well. And this is no joke. It really does work. Uh, what we're looking at is a couple of pole bean plants. There's another one, but Jinx just nipped one of his leaves off. Bad little kitty, and then she nipped a... Uh, she nipped that corn plant right there. Bad girl. Anyways, getting back on track. And that is a squash plant uh, that, that I planted earlier on in the month. What you do with all three of these is it's kind of a trifecta. The three plants complement each other wherever they grow. Let me get you a uh, shot of what one actually looks like, a plot done upright. Now, what happens is the, uh, the corn plant is the pole for the beans to grow up, and the beans uh, nourish the corn, and the squash also nourishes the beans, and it protects from insects with its spiny hairs and all that, and it also keeps the ground shaded and keeps the moisture up, which in turn nourishes the other two plants. So the three of them together uh, nitrogenate the soil for the corn, they feed each other, and they water each other. And what that, and as you can see, I'll get you a, cl a closer up look at this. Uh, as you can see, the corn plant's very, very healthy, and so is everything else around it. Now, I was planning on doing a couple of gorilla gardening things. So I was going to take, uh, I've got some squash started out back, so I was going to take a couple of these corn plants and a couple of these bean plants down there and uh, get them mated up with these variety of bush scallops. It's right near the daikon radishes and everything I, I did, and uh, we're going to find out just how far it gets. But I'll be monitoring this in the future, because it's a real outside-the-box idea. And as I understand it, all you need to do is take like the corn stalks and uh, all the roots and stuff and till them up into the soil, and it leaves it more fertile for next year. So it's like a self-fertilizing, self-watering, self-nourishing uh, plant, and... Uh, everything on it's you know edible you can get the you know comes out squash corn and bunches of pole beans so i think that'll be real interesting and uh, as the plants are starting to get real nice and getting real high they're doing even better than the ones outside so uh and uh luckily all of my corn uh actually survived the squirrels so i have you know three or four rows of corn coming in so uh I didn't need these, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to a couple different locations and start a couple Three Sisters plants. Thanks for watching, everybody, and always remember, there's a wealth around you.